your dollars, your retirement funds, would you like those to be maximized and make as much money as humanly possible, or would you like them to be used for some leftist political agenda? I think most people would answer, I want as much money as I can have in retirement as humanly possible. ESG stands for environmental, social, and governance. And so this is an investment strategy uh, that's been percolating now for the last couple decades. Now, the predecessor to that was uh, socially responsible investing. And some people might remember that. And that essentially investing your own dollars in causes that you believe in. The problem with that was dollars ended up chasing returns instead of ideas. And so it wasn't very successful. So what they came up with, these financial institutions and left-wing uh, organizations and activist corporate members, is ESG. And so this guides investment strategy and policy as it relates to either buying stocks or how they're grading certain securities and things like that. So it's essentially coercing dollars towards those ideas because they're not naturally flowing to them. So for instance, the fossil fuel industry, they find certainly reprehensible and they think it's destroying the earth rather than powering uh, the entire human race, which actually is a fact. So what they have done, we have firms that give ESG scores on environmental, social and governance issues, and they're downgrading securities uh, that could be an oil company, could be a gas company, could be a coal company. Then on top of that, uh, inside of their own corporate structure, they implement ESG policies and standards. Banks, for instance, won't lend money to certain segments of the fossil fuel industry, or they won't loan to, uh, lend to gun manufacturers and things like that. So this is essentially an end around the political process. So what they can achieve at the ballot box, they're trying to achieve through the capital markets and the financial services sector. So that's how these things are being pushed. Some of it is really outright economic extortion where we have, say, rating agencies like S&P Global is now handing out ESG scores. West Virginia, every state in America and municipality is going to receive one of these. West Virginia could likely face a downgrade in our bond rating. That's gonna cost more money to build schools, roads, hospitals, all these things, unless we comply with these ESG standards that they have put in place that have nothing to do with the finances of the state of West Virginia, which I will add in my lifetime have never been better than they are right now. They're using this in a coercive manner to push forward their liberal agenda and ideology, which in my view, I think is going to lead to a lack of diversification and investment. It's gonna make things less liquid and more brittle. And I think could ultimately, uh, if we'd gone, gone unchecked, could destroy the capitalist free market system that we have in this country.